Whenever a patient visits the dental clinic with the chief complaint of pain, it is essential for the dentist to confirm and diagnose the problem with the associated tooth. If the problem is found to be associated with a vital tooth, then the treatment could be a pulp protective base followed by a permanent restorative material. But in case, if the tooth is found to be non-vital, then the treatment will be extraction or doing a root canal treatment. It is a nightmare for each and every dentist to diagnose the problem with a tooth, whether it is vital or non-vital, whether we should attempt to save the tooth or whether we should proceed with extraction or root canal treatment. In this session, we will try to find a solution for this problem. With a proper case history, clinical examination and radiographic examination, most often we will be able to come to a proper clinical diagnosis whether the tooth is vital or non-vital. Whenever we are having a doubt, we should go for one of the pulp vitality testing. The true vitality testing is to check the pulpal blood supply, which is pulse oximetry and laser Doppler flowmetry, which are still in a very rudimentary stage of development and not clinically feasible. In order to check whether the tooth has an intact nerve supply. There are so many tests which are available but among them thermal testing, electrical pulp testing, anesthetic testing and test cavity are the one that is feasibly and can be carried out in a clinical setting. Anesthetic test is not always reliable and test cavity is like cutting the neck of a person to find out whether he is alive. In a modern dental practice it is not recommended. Although there are many ways to test with the help of heat and cold, only these tests are clinically feasible. We will see those tests. Electric pulp testing can be carried out with the help of an electric pulp tester. For all these tests, first step is to choose a control tooth, preferably a contralateral normal tooth and to establish a base value. Then the tooth in costine have to be evaluated, preferably the test material is placed at the junction of the middle and incisal third of the tooth. For heat test we can use a gutta percha stick which is different from what is used for endodontic obturation. For a cold test a small vial filled with water put in a freezer made into a ice stick and it could be placed and it could be checked or we can use a readymadely available endo ice which is a spray which could be put on a small cotton pellet kept on the tooth surface and we can elicit a response. Electric pulp testing can be carried out with the electric pulp tester starting from a slow to a higher reading. For all these tests, the results are always dependent on the patient response. Some patients may be very apprehensive and some patient may not give any response at all. So this leads to give a more chances for false positive and false negative results. Compared to a control tooth, if you are getting a normal response, then the tooth could be vital and it can be a reversible pulpitis. Compared to a control tooth, if we get an exaggerated response, most often it will be irreversible pulpitis. If there is no response, the tooth could be normal or after trauma, the tooth may not give any response, but still the tooth could be vital or the tooth could be a real non-vital tooth. A proper history. Correlating with a clinical examination, a radiographic examination, coupled with this vitality testing, we may be able to come to a conclusion whether the tooth is vital or non-vital. If you are still in doubt whether the tooth is vital or non-vital, always consider the tooth is vital. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Comment for more videos.